guys, welcome back. Today we're going to solve one of the world's biggest mysteries. Okay, maybe it's not one of the world's biggest, but it's useful information to know. Uh, just go with me. Credit scores. What are they? Hint, they're not those little coin symbols that represent your score during your favorite video game. A credit score is a number assigned to you by a credit reporting agency. You know, like Equifax or Experian or TransUnion. These agencies typically use certain factors and scoring modules, algorithms, to calculate your credit score. Did you know, however, that you don't just have one credit score? You can actually have multiple credit scores, and they typically all vary. Why? Well, each credit reporting agency uses a slightly different model to calculate your score. Common factors considered in credit score modeling include payment history, credit utilization, and the number of credit inquiries, length of credit history, and types of credit, and new credit. Let's take a closer look. Lenders look at your payment history to help them figure out if they want to extend credit to you. One of the things they're looking at is if you have a history of paying creditors back on time or not. So keeping a clean payment history is extremely important. Next, there's a credit capacity, or how much of your credit limit you're using. Lenders and creditors like to see that you're able to handle a reasonable amount of debt, but borrowing up to your limit is not necessarily a good thing either. Then there's looking at how many sources of borrowing you use. Do you only have a single credit card, or are you also responsible for a car loan and a mortgage? Diversity in your credit profile can sometimes be a good thing. New credit and credit inquiries are also important. This factor looks at how often you take on credit and how many creditors you've applied with. Be careful not to apply for credit everywhere all at once. This could end up hurting your credit score as it may suggest you're about to borrow beyond your means. Finally, your length of credit history. The longer you have a good history, the better. History gives creditors an idea of how responsible you are with your credit over time. Now that you know more about credit scores and how they're calculated, I'll leave you with one last piece of information. Credit cards can be great and they can be helpful. However, they can be extremely detrimental to you financially if used irresponsibly. Whether you're about to apply for your first credit card or your fifth, be sure you're doing it for the right reasons and be responsible.